Hello friends, in this video we will talk about how to register medical device with CDSO. So CDSO is an apex body in India which is responsible for the grant of licenses for the medical device manufacturers and importers in India. So medical device industry is regulated under the Drugs and Cosmetics Act and under the powers vested with the central government. In Drugs and Cosmetics Act, the government has enacted medical device rules 2017 through which government has laid the detailed procedure of registration of medical devices for class A, B, C and D. So while understanding the registration procedure of medical devices, it is very pertinent to understand that what are the classes, class A, B, C, D. So class A medical devices are those devices which are a low risk of harming the patients. The classic examples of class A medical devices is like stethoscopes, uh, simple wound dressings, a surgical gowns, a simple surgical instruments. The government recently has further classified class A instruments into non-sterile and non-measuring devices. So basically, any equipment which doesn't require the sterilization before it released into the market and this device is also not the measuring device then in such a case government has given the option of simplified registration over the CDSU portal. So th that's why the government has further classified the class A devices into non-sterile and non-measuring devices. Now let's jump on to class B. So class B devices are those which has moderate possibility for harming the patients. The examples of class B can be X-ray machines, ultrasound machines, infusion pumps, in intraocular lens, endoscopes, defibrillators, electrocardiographs, etc. So essentially, what we can observe that under the class B, lots of diagnostic equipments has been given. Though certain equipments which are directly relating uh, to the treatments of the patients are also given under the class B. Let's jump to class C. Class C are the most, most riskier uh, equipments. So for the class C equipments, there is the stringent regulatory environment wherein the uh, stringent requirements for the clean room and other environmental conditions for the manufacturing of such devices has been given. The classic examples of class C can be uh, any item related to the respiratory things, oxygen like oxygen, uh, this bl blood oxygen generator, bypass machines, implanted devices, surgical, powered surgical instruments, then many kind of and uh, this orthopedic equipments, cardiac stunts, etc. Class D are the extremely riskier equipments, and for these class for the class D medical devices, the government has the requirement of most uh, a stricter validation uh, reports, test reports before granting the license to the class D equipments. The government wants to ensure that class D in uh, medical devices is strictly adhering the requisite manufacturing standard the clean room standards, the biocompatibility and other technical uh, data which needs to be evaluated for the uh, rightful validation. So all these needs to be properly well placed before the government while submitting the application. So let's have a glance on the basic uh, steps of registration. So the basic uh, steps begin with the uh, opening of account with the CDSO portal. Then we have to prepare the document and upload at the CDSO portal. Then we have to submit the fee. Post submitting the fee, the government officers will technically evaluate the documents. 
and uh, under this evaluation the government can have the queries and once you dispose those queries by making the appropriate reply the approval of application shall be there so in most of the cases generally the query does persist since in india we have learned from our experience that medical device regulatory environment is very much new uh, cdso is responsible for issuance of three kind of and medical device licenses one is the import license second is manufacturing license but specifically manufacturing license is for the class c and d because for the class a and b the jurisdiction is with the central government thirdly is uh, for the loan licenses for getting the import license you need to uh, apply under the md14 form md14 and uh, the license shall be issued under the form md15 so few of the important documents uh, which require for the uh, application of import license is the free sale certificate that your supplier that your foreign supplier shall provide you the power of attorney shall be given by the foreign supplier to you that such foreign supplier authorizes you that to uh, apply for the registration of these uh, medical devices in the capacity of importer with the indian government wholesale license basically wholesale license is nothing but an uh, a selling and distribution license which you will be requiring to obtain from your local state under the md form md42 then plant master file device master file is again needs to be provided by your supplier legal form is something which needs to which will be generated once you submit all the documents and you need to print that legal form and after digitally signing this document you need to upload back and have to finally pay the government fee manufacturing license so for manufacturing the uh, class a and b devices you need to apply under the application md3 and uh, the license is generally granted under the md5 but it needs to be uh, uh, note that uh, the for class a and b the state governments are responsible to issue the manufacturing license and for class c and d you need to apply the manufacturing license in md7 wherein the government will grant you the license in md9 loan license so basically loan license many of you might have this query in your mind that in which cases loan license is required so loan license is basically a document between the two companies by which one company grant permission to other company to manufacture products at their premises so uh, generally we have observed that loan license uh, is applied in such cases wherein the uh, manufacturer uh, basically the brand owner you can say the brand owner is not interested to disclose the name of the vendor from whom they are getting their goods manufactured so in that case they people generally prefer that to take the loan license and uh, uh, like uh, to produce the goods at the premises of such manufacturer and uh, show on the label that they are the manufacturer of such goods so apart from that uh, medical devices registration is very tedious process so therefore it is very much uh, advisable that for the seamless and the effective registration process to always get the uh, assistance from the experts those who are specialized in the field and uh, so we have the many ways to assist you and thanks for uh, watching our video under the description of this video we have given our contact details wherein along with our other social media handles also which you can subscribe and uh, we keep on posting you the new medical device updates along with the other medical device industry opportunities thank you